it's going down. Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashom Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of It's Going Down, being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai. European country warns of general energy collapse. Gas shortage might put European states in a position where even money where even with money you will not be able to get electricity Montenegro warns so it's getting so bad in Europe that or may I say the gas shortage is getting so bad in Europe that even if you have money there's no guarantee that you'll be able to have electricity in your home and that's if you have money you know they're they're consider they're considering cutting back on gas significantly and only rationing out gases to businesses of whom they consider to be essential to their economy okay interruptions to russia's gas supplies and mass and a mass to switch to electricity will lead to a general energy collapse in Europe. The Prime Minister of Montenegro, Dritan Abazovic, claimed on Monday. Speaking to Parliament, Abrazovic recalled recent remarks by German Vice Chancellor Robert Hebeck, who, amid looming energy difficulties over the winter period, advised his compatriots to spend less time in the shower and prepare for warm clothes. Now you have a good idea of how bad it's getting in Europe. In Abrezovic's opinion, if some, if someone from his government came up with such advice, he would be ridiculed. Okay, Montenegrin ministers are now focused on preventing a crisis like this, he said, but not everything depends on them. If it comes true, that in the fall or with the one set of cold days gas is not delivered from Russia to Western Europe at a level that satisfies its economy and if it switches to electricity there will be a general energy collapse he warned he explained that there was even a greater danger than increasing energy prices in his opinion there might be a situation in which even money even with money, you will not be able to get electricity. That's pretty much all I need to read there, you know. So now you have a good idea of how bad it is getting in Europe. And this is all judgment coming from the Heavenly Father. Okay, the Heavenly Father said he would do these things because of the pride and wickedness of, of the people upon this planet. Zephaniah 3 verse 5. The just Lord, whose name is Yahweh, in the Paleo Hebrew, the true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. And we're seeing the Lord's judgment being brought to light. This is all a part of the Lord's judgment. Even if you have money, there's no guarantee you're going to get electricity. And let's face it. Electricity is something that people is used to having in their homes. Without electricity, your house is basically back to the stone ages. You're going to have to keep your, your, your refrigerated food cold the good old fashioned way. You're going to need ice, which you can buy from stores. You know, if you want heat, well, that's good. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. You know, nowadays, Houses are not built to be old fashioned like they were in the early 1900s. You see, in the early 1900s, okay, the vast majority of houses had, had chimneys where you could 
where, where you had a fireplace where you could light a fire which was used to heat up your 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 entire house but as you can see houses started started to become industrialized now homes are running on electricity you need electricity if you want to keep your house warm you know it, it's all systematically set up to make you people suffer so you can bow down to the NWO okay he fell if not so the Lord fell if not when it comes to bringing his judgment to light but the unjust which is the wicked know of no shame with that I'm gonna say Shalom is on to the next one